Well, families in Shore Acres are just one group in the Bay Area still cleaning up after last week's storm. Some say they're rebuilding, but others are leaving town. Tin Tampa Bay's Angelicia Bruton spoke to one woman who says the floodwaters are pushing her out of her neighborhood. Shore Acres got several feet of water in streets and homes during Haleen. Flooding is a common concern for people, but one neighbor says she's had enough. It's terrible. There's you feel helpless. Leanne Jamison faced a big cleanup after Hurricane Helene. I first walked through the side yard and I was just astonished because the storm had picked up my propane tank, for example, and tossed it on its side. Um, and then we came in through the back door and there was just furniture that was in this room was over in this room. Jamison says she's lived in her Shore Acres home for four years, and this is her third time a storm has damaged her home. The first time was Tropical Storm Etta just flooded the garage and um, patio, but I still lost appliances, and then I flooded an inch in Hurricane Adalia and about three feet in Hurricane Helene. Items that took Jamison years to collect are now trash sitting on her curb. This time she says she's not rebuilding. It's a huge lot, it's on a canal. Um, so for me, it's not the right time to build up or knock down and build. So I'm gonna try to sell it for lot value. As a realtor, she knows selling isn't an easy task in these coastal communities. It's tough right now. Um, I think we're gonna see a lot more people putting their homes on the market for lot value. Um, I think it's a great time for developers to scoop up properties like that, that where they could, um, you know, rebuild them to code. That's the problem. This neighborhood was developed, you know, <laughs> century ago. Although Mother Nature is inevitable. It is going to be harder if a lot of people come on the market at the same time. She believes there will always be a draw to live by the water. I think people stay in Shore Acres flood after flood because it is an awesome neighborhood. They're, this is the only place I've ever lived where there is an extreme sense of community. Angelicia Bruton, 10 Tampa Bay. And a new law actually went into effect less than a week ago, requiring the seller of any residential property to disclose flood risks to the buyer.